No, no, I, I'm certain I paid that bill. No, it's paid, really. Okay. No, don't, please don't cut off my phone. I, I, oh, we're back. <laughs> All right. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope that you will spend time. By the way, Lent has begun. So for those of you who do not follow Lent, I would advise you to go to a Christian bookstore, get a book on Lent, go online, study about Lent. There are many evangelical Christians who are in a communion that does not liturgically follow Lent, but they feel the need for Lent as they approach the holy season of Easter, where we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord. By the way, I wasn't supposed to go into this, but I'll tell you, Lent is based upon the Lord Jesus' 40-day fast when, after he was baptized and he went into the wilderness. That's where Lent is mirrored from. All right, so I hope that this show has provoked you as a Christian to prioritize what's happening in the culture and with your life according to heaven's priorities. Don't believe anybody who tells you that God doesn't have priorities. Or, or say it like this. Don't believe anybody who tells you that all sins are equal. It is ludicrous. It has no foundation in Christian theology for 2,000 years. And it is a Bible verse, one Bible verse taken out of context from the book of James. You darn well better believe that all sins are not equal. And if you think that they're not, ponder if somebody steals a piece of your gum or if somebody murders a member of your family. All right? That's how you'll know from the gut that there are things that matter more than other things. Our duty is to reflect God's priorities and hopefully with joy and with passion. God bless you.